What we have here is the next project boat that I'm going to be working on. It's definitely seen better days and it's been sitting here for years. Look at this, pretty crazy. The lower unit is pretty much halfway in the ground. I'm gonna hook up my jump box to the power cables to uh, get that motor up because it's gonna be dragging when we uh, pull it out. All right, looks like we have our compartment where the batteries go. Well, I know the trim works, which is good. Jeez. Oh my God, look at the tree in there. Well, I got some air in the tires and it's definitely rolling better right now. Hmm. Likely right in here. If it's here. Right. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no way. It's cast aluminum. It's not that strong. Yeah. And, that, and that was setting on an angle. If it <laughs> if it moved forward or back, it could break it. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a bad boat. Oh, this is definitely solid. <laughs> I really can't do that. This is crazy. There's probably about like four inches of this leaves and debris. Pretty crazy. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get this tree root out. There we go. So I decided to take the screws out that hold the cooler down to the floor because I'm trying to get this root out. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now it just comes right off. This is all the stuff that actually came out of the boat. What I'm gonna do now is get the pressure washer and just clean everything up and it should look like a completely different boat when I'm done with it. Those people who think uh, the floor is soft in this boat, I'm gonna walk around in it. It's a very solid boat. I found 20 bottles of sunscreen, which is pretty crazy. I've never seen so much sunscreen. Yeah, they're not even seized up or anything. Just like someone put them in. Yeah. Yeah, that's a corrosion. Oh yeah, this one has some rust. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna get a battery in here. I'm gonna tilt the motor up and we'll spray some stuff in here. Oh, it's a little rough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, it's stuck right there. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully we make a complete 360 turn. Yeah, it looks like we got it now. Gonna see what happens. Hopefully 
She starts right up. Oh my god, it's smoky. <laughs> So we finally got the motor running and it actually runs really good. What I'm doing right now is I'm removing the lower unit in order to put a new water impeller in here. And also I have to get the lower unit repaired. As you can see, the skeg is ripped off. We know why it wasn't pumping water. The middle insert is turning on the rubber. Definitely needs a new one. I just got the lower unit back. I got the skeg welded back on. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be installing the brand new water pump. actually going to take these carbs off because even though this motor runs good there still could be stuff in the carburetors just to be safe we're going to take these off inspect them and if they're dirty we're going to clean them Everything hooked up and it's time to fire her up. <laughs> Gonna be lifting the boat off of the trailer. The trailer is off of the boat finally and we're going to do a little overview of what we need. Looks like we're going to need a new jack and we'll probably just put a new winch in the front. New chain. This is pretty rusty right here. Yeah, that's that's bad. They're completely shot. These axles, probably going to sand them down and repaint them. Everything is pretty rusty. This uh, cross member is broken. We should be able to save this trailer. It's not too bad.
trailer is completely done. It turned out looking really good. All you have to do now is hook up uh, the golf cart to it in order to put it underneath. I mean, it's going. Woo! It's not like it's gonna break. You're good. The boat is finally on the trailer and now it's time to move on on working on the boat. What I'm working on now is the wiring for the boat. As you can see, this is just a nightmare on pretty much any older boat because you have all these wires hanging and maybe some wires go bad. I found a bad ground wire. What I'm gonna be doing is soldering a new connection. I just finished uh, putting the battery in here and zip tying all the cables and power wires together definitely looking a lot better than what it did before i removed the pump for the live well and as you could see it is completely toasted i have a new pump what i'm going to be installing is this radio it came with two speakers and a head unit that's going to go right into the center console i already have two holes for the speakers this is uh where the head unit is going to go I'm trying to get these wires uh all wired up for the radio Radio going in right now. Sounds good. I uh, kind of tucked all the wiring in here, zip tied everything. Looks a lot better than what it did before. I found a better condition seat, uh, so I don't have to buy a brand new one. Okay. It. <coughs> it's time to finally seat trial this boat. Look at that, this thing's in the water finally after so many years. She's floating, engine's running great. And we're gonna go for a little sea trial on it to see uh, if everything's in good working order. Off we go. really good we actually got it up to 44 miles an hour uh, everything mechanically and all the electronics work which is great news and uh, now it's just time to put on the trailer and start finishing up the project I'm gonna have someone actually paint this motor. It's gonna look brand new once it's done. But before I drop that off, I'm going to actually degrease everything and get all the grease and any oil residue on the engine before it goes for paint. Right, get the seal off. I just got a regular paintbrush and I'm just trying to get into these crevices and trying to rub this uh, degreaser into the grease, trying to loosen all the stuff up. I got all the grease and grime off the engine and now it's ready to get painted. Can't wait to see what it looks like after, after it's done. The engine is painted. I just have to assemble it right now. Came out really good, actually better than I expected. Pretty. 
I have the engine fully assembled now and as you could see it looks great if you guys are interested in getting your engine painted I'm going to leave the guys information in the video description the wood is completely gone out of this I have to trace out a piece of plywood so that when I drop it off they could use that to build me a cushion So I just got back from the poultry shop and as you could see, they did a great job. Looks pretty good, just gotta screw it in. Looks good. Yeah. What I'm going to be doing today is bringing this gel coat back to life. I'm going to do a before and after and this is the gel coat compound that I'm gonna be using. clearly see everything in the background. You can see my truck and everything. Now if we go forward more, you can see where I stopped. And you can see how bad uh, the gel coat was before. It's just, I have to do the whole boat. It's gonna take some time and some effort. The boat is officially finished and it looks great. I'm just gonna do a little walk around of the boat and just give you a quick description of what I did to it. Starting with the trailer, I completely stripped it. It has all new bolts, fenders, hubs, wheels. I mean, that thing has been completely gone through and it's basically a uh, brand new trailer. Going to the boat hall itself, I polished it out and I mean, I got it to shine really nice. Inside, I cleaned it up really good. I have a fish tape ruler. I got the front reupholstered. I have a helm pad in the front. Uh, put new speakers, radio, uh, new switches, getting everything working, belch pumps, stuff like that. For the engine, I completely serviced it. Runs amazing on this boat. It pushes this boat really good got it painted and I'm telling you this thing looks almost brand new it's pretty amazing on how this boat started from the beginning and how it looks now uh, it's pretty impressive we'll uh, show you guys how it runs on the water the boat back I'm suspecting that my trigger is bad and that's located underneath the flywheel I'm going to take that flywheel off get a replacement trigger put it back on and we will see if that solves our issue I just put a good use trigger back on the motor my old one tested bad
Just got the boat in the water. Uh, pretty excited to see uh, it finally back in the water all fixed up. We got our captain Claudio here. You're in safe hands, man. Hopefully, we'll find out. <laughs> Pretty sunset out there. Sunset right there, you can't beat it. I just got the boat back in the trailer and I had no issues. Pretty impressed on this one from beginning to end. I mean, I had a tree grown in here and I'm out here enjoying it on the water finally. Uh, it came out looking really good. It just looks like a completely different boat. Almost looks brand new once again. If you guys are interested in more of these types of videos, please stay tuned and thanks for watching.